Well, I became, I guess, like when I became Christian, if you want to call it that, and I'll tell you why I have a problem with like the term, um, was when I took LSD and read the book of John in my dorm room when I was tripping and had this like chain reaction of thoughts that let that like where I think I felt Christ consciousness as they call it. But my first thought was, um, I'm reading it. And I'm like, well, somebody wrote this. I know it seems weird, obvious, but I'm like, somebody wrote this. And then I thought, but look, what consciousness would my mind be in if I wrote something like this? Like, this is not normal human consciousness that produced this series of sentences creating the Gospel of John. This is like some kind of like elevated being who has clearly met another being that did this to him. And he's trying to like put it into words. And then right, I think right after that, I felt it. I was like, oh, fuck, it's real. It's real. And, uh, but then my, the way I connect with Jesus and the way I think about Christianity would probably be considered heretical by a lot of other Christians. And um, I'm fine with that. I don't care. Because I think, I think like with Christianity and with any religion that invites connection with the transcendent, the priest class becomes irrelevant, which is another thing I love about Christianity is it's like a direct connection with something. It, it, it's once you, it's kind of like once, once you connect with a thing, you don't, you don't need to like read transcripts of things it said in the past. You know what I mean? Like in, in certainly once you connect with a thing, why do you need an interpreter anymore to tell you what, what it's about? And so the priest class appears and in the worst case becomes uh, 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 the the very the most nefarious sort of interpreter, which you would never want your interpreter to warp what something was saying to fit an agenda that your interpreter had. That would be awful, and then the interpreter would actually become more powerful than the person you were talking to, and now you're fucked. And so that can happen in hierarchical systems. Mormons. Christians, it happens any time. You have like a charismatic licensed God translator with an agenda who has decided, oh, this is what it means, and then starts warping it to fit some version of it that maybe isn't what it is, is at all. And 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 to me, the really interesting thing about Christianity is there is this like possibility of direct communion with Jesus. You invite Jesus into your heart. Jesus talks to you, is in you. You feel Jesus. Jesus tells you what to do. And all the great prophets and all the people who had some interaction with the divine, like there wasn't an interpreter, you know, telling Moses, well, he doesn't actually mean go into Egypt and free the Jews. It's a symbol of something else. Like, definitely don't do that because you have a stutter and there's no fucking way you're going to march into, like, an empire and have anything. Nothing will happen. So you're taking it literally. Don't do that. Like, let's go, let's pick it apart here. It's got to mean something else. It, it's never like that. It's like direct communication demanding some action that seems insane. There's no one there to fuck it up. So I think when I, that's where I sort of veer away from some forms of Christianity, which like to have the interpreter uh, there to sort of direct and guide. And sometimes that's good. I mean, it's nice to have someone to run shit by. It's just, you know, it's like uh, that Mark Twain quote I always fucking say religion is what happened when the first con man met the first fool. And you know what I mean? Like if I can convince you that I have a direct line to God more than you and then convince you to give me 10% of your yearly earnings 
if you want that line. That's expensive. Mm-hmm. Like, how much is broadband? Like, it's like $30 a month to get, like, pretty good Wi-Fi now. It's like the idea you're going to give 10% of your income to, like, a, a, an organized group because, that that is theoretically representing a religion that has what built inside of it the idea that you don't need a priest class anymore. It just seems a little paradoxical to me, you know? So that's probably why, like, I, when I, that's why I hesitate, because I don't know if that makes me a Christian necessarily or like something like the opposite. 